Hey, hey, welcome to a brand new episode of the Trailer Show Podcast. I am your host, Calvin. Join by my incredible host, Brandon Lee, and the beautiful Christina. How are you guys doing today? Good. Made it another season finale. It is, man. It's a season. Already? What you mean already? It's been a long season. I think this is one of the longest seasons. We've had a lot of holidays. You didn't invite me a lot this time. What are you trying to do? I didn't invite you. You just don't ever come, and you always late. Like if we have anybody in our group who is always late, it is Christina. And I told them before the show, if this did she just say what I thought she did? I got stuff to do. Oh, I thought she said something else. I thought she said. I didn't know what she said. I was like, "What?" I was telling them before. I said, "Yeah, y'all can't be cussing on the show." No, I'm just kidding. It's cool. It's fine. But uh, I was telling them before the show started. I said, "You know, back in the day, like when they had doo wop groups and like you know the Temptations and stuff like that, if they were late for a practice, they would be docked twenty five cents. And I'm pretty sure it's like what maybe five dollars now, but still, like Christina, you gotta be on time." I'm just, I'm just kidding, but no, I'm glad that you're you're here. So thank you for your your beautiful presence here on the show. Anyway, Lee, how you doing, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm good. Thank you for having me. I'm I'm also excited to be here on the season finale. You know who's never on? Who's not? Who's never late? Lee. You know who's Lee always on time. Late. Y'all making us look bad. Like you know, we can't be on Lee. PC time all the time, and like you know. Oh, no. I came here straight from work. Shut up. Mm-hmm. I got. I'm making a stereotype look bad. Like this is, you know, I and mean, I was late too. Ain't gonna lie, but still, because uh, <laughs> I totally saw Lee was in the meeting before I got here. So anyway, we look bad. But anyway, anyway, sit Lee, Brandon, Christina, season five. We're here. We made it. Yay. Yay. And before we go any further, <laughs> I, I definitely want to thank y'all for y'all's contribution uh for season five it's been an incredible uh season five we had some ups we had some downs we had some losses uh man it has been an incredible season five and this season fell on some holidays so we had some breaks here and there i think that's why maybe it's uh been so long right i guess i don't know it, it definitely feels more spread out yeah that that's sense. why that's why it kind of feels like man i feel like we just did it but it was the holiday episodes and you know yeah we had a lot of season and holiday episodes but feels like the sweet potato pie dressing debate just happened yeah <laughs> that was november so yeah that's that was, that was a long time ago that just depressed me <laughs> yeah I mean, and <laughs> So we're here to bring this puppy home with this season finale episode. Right now, we are broadcasting live on Facebook Live. If you're on Facebook, uh, you know, talk to us. You know, y'all have been, we've utilized this this season uh, to where you all can talk to us on Facebook as we're recording this live. And if you're listening right now in a different country, uh, first off, our thoughts and prayers go out to the country of Ukraine. Uh, what they're going through right now uh, us as a podcast here straight up uh, we stand with you we are definitely keeping you in our press we have a friend that was who was a guest of our podcast she is from ukraine julia uh one of our many first guests on the show so we are definitely keeping her in our her family in our prayers right now and we ask you to uh do the same right now as we are going through difficult times uh in the world uh, with that being said, hey, uh, do y'all have a, a particular favorite episode this season or what? Well, I'm, I'm glad you was able to uh, d- dive in a little bit about the, um, man, what are those acronyms? Uh, the NFTs, uh, which is even, not NFTs, you know, not NFTs um, Meta. I'm glad metaverse. you were able to dive into the metaverse which is still a very confusing things uh thing not everybody really know about it even the people that's preparing for it don't really even know about it because we're still trying to figure this thing out but still keeping everybody updated with something that's so uh that's going to be very immersive with our lives potentially uh keeping everybody in the know about it i'm glad you was able to uh talk about that lee Oh, weirdly for me, I think it would be the Black History episode. Uh, prob- probably because <laughs> I had like 
it's <laughs> it's been the first episode in a while that I've had to like sit down and research so- something. And like I was already a fan of Dwayne McDuffie, but it gave me an excuse to like go down that Wikipedia rabbit hole of like every aspect of the dude's life, and, like kind of get to know him on that level. And just, you know, being able to bring that to y'all and, and j- just the stories y'all shared were amazing. And it was overall just a fun episode to do. And we're not laughing at Lee. We're laughing at the fact that we are, we three are black people and Lee has outshined us <laughs> as black people. <laughs> can, like, can, can, we, can, can we cut that? Because I, I don't want that on my resume. <laughs> Why not? What'd you trying to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> How would I advertise that? <laughs> First off, we were, we're we're not on time, and <laughs> his favorite episode is the Black History episode. Like, Brandon, wow. <laughs> yeah, I already said yeah. That should have been minus or so. All right, I wasn't. I didn't. Uh, that 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 didn't come tonight. We just did that too. I, su- I swear to God, I wasn't trying to make a power. <laughs> That was a big power move. <laughs> Christina, can we see if you can... white of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite one, Christina? Well, if, I was going to say the same, but uh, I'll keep it lighter and just go ahead and say the Thanksgiving episode was probably my favorite, just because it was just, it was fun. It was just silly. It was fun. It was good to watch everybody look a little devastated. That was I your... Enjoyed that... their uh, menus. <laughs> And that was Christina's first tournament episode, so it was fine. That's right. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And have no fear, we've already started working on the next season's tournament, uh, and I'm pretty sure you all would like it. We're not going to tell you what it is, but it is something that everybody does, and I think you will like it. So uh, be on the lookout for that because that would definitely it's going to make some enemies. If you mm-hmm. if you can't if you don't think that sweet potato pie and dressing makes enemies this one definitely will make enemies uh for you on the next season's tournament episode so christina we hope that you can join us on that one but if not you better listen because part i'm just kidding but no. I'll, I'll do my best because i'm waiting to go toe-to-toe with brandon i'm ready to decimate some stuff from him yeah this is yeah, kind of she, she worked against me yeah yeah week. i'm ready i'm ready for it tear you apart man it's gonna be great I think my favorite episode was definitely mm-hmm. the one with uh, PJ and Kitty always tag team. And, and that's just, you know, Christina, you're making that face because you know that they, they give it to you every time. So, like, that's why I love PJ and Kitty because they come on the show and they, they bully Christina for me on relationship issues. So that's why I love them, just to see her face, make that face right there and just make me feel calm about dating. They really give some insiders on dating and make me feel guilty about my dating life. So that's my favorite one of season uh, five. Christina, I know you want to say something. What do you want to say? I don't want to say anything. Exactly. That's what I thought. So uh, with that being said, this is season five finale. Uh, man, we got to take this, this bad boy home. I'm going to miss y'all for a couple months. You know, I'm not going to talk to y'all, but we're going to have fun today because today we're, we're, we're going to old school old school meaning that we're going to talk about how it was in high school and let me just say this before uh we go any further we had a pre pre pre-show uh introduction for this episode and talked about it and these three made me feel bad for being a high school person so uh we're gonna talk about our craziness in high school and let's see if you all be a fan of me after we tell you our high school stories, this is the season five finale on Strip Show Podcast. Make sure you stay tuned on the other side of the break. What is the return on generous leadership and a generous culture? I'm Shannon Cassidy, and on the ROG Return on Generosity podcast, I speak with innovative leaders who share real life examples of the dividends of investing in others. Subscribe where you get your podcasts or go to bridgebetween.com or search R period, O period, G period, return on generosity on your favorite podcast platform. Stay generous, everyone. Summer is approaching. That season where most friends and family travel, have family reunions, and enjoy that family vacation you've had over a year to plan. If you haven't had your vaccinations yet, there's still time. You might think you're fine now, but the reality is you're not. There's still contagious variants out there, and some states and cities are still behind on getting vaccinated. 
Don't ruin your family vacation by worrying about traveling in a hot spot. And don't be the one to cause a loved one at your family reunion to get sick. If you're still deciding on whether or not to take the vaccine, do some real research. And most of all, do what's best for you and your family. Take the politics out of it. And like everything on our show, think about it with an open mind. All right, welcome back to the Straight Show Podcast. This is our season five finale. We have the full gang here today, which is a shock to me. I think this is our first season we've actually done more episodes together more than usual because we're always spread out. So this has kind of been like, and not only is this the uh, uh, the first season that we have all of us together, but the first season to where everybody has the camera on multiple episodes. So this is a win-win. All we need now is me to put my glasses on and we all four can have glasses, but you know, it's neither here or there. there you <laughs> but you know so this season we want to talk about like you know we always want to give back and share some of our personal life with y'all because y'all have been so great to us she bought our merchandise she listened to our episodes so we want to give back and kind of be personal with y'all today we want to talk about going back to our school days and i don't know about y'all but i was kind of like <laughs> i was the man in high school first off i was you know nobody could touch me you know i was the man but little fun fact <laughs> don't hate okay. don't hate christina and y'all always wonder why me and christina argue so much because little do y'all know christina and i actually went to the same high school lee brand did you know that at all we weren't friends though it's fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the part i knew <laughs> like yeah because i didn't know the little people like christina in high school so mm. I, was, I was off doing royalty I didn't have the time to mess with the people in high school. And I say royalty because in my high school, yeah. I became I became prom king. He was a popular guy. He was popular. I don't know why. As I <laughs> sip as I sip my drink. <laughs> Calvin was he was one of those guys, you know, he was friends with everybody. You you'd see him walking around, whatever. Nobody really cared. But you'd be like, oh, it's him. Okay, carry on. <laughs> and and I remember Christina because and this this is not no, no, I do I remember you I do remember you from high school most of the time <laughs> and the only reason why I remember Christina is because she would always she would always be in her ROTC outfit and the only time I would see her is <laughs> at lunch <laughs> but why did I always see you at lunch though you did I did see you at you lunch have, you you might have every what was it wednesday yes maybe Maybe. and that was very brief if you did because i think i had lunch a handful of times and that was it no no you know what i'm a liar you would you sit with the would you sit with the stupid crew at the purple tables the benches Mm -hmm. yeah yeah you were over there somewhere you you might have seen me sometimes yeah so i was I was with all the food in front of me. I want to butt in, but in, but Ron, t- Ron in the comments said his favorite high school memory was graduate graduating. I'm gonna say that a lot. Graduating. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, Ron, for uh, you know participating. His favorite memory in high school is graduating. So let's start to start this off. Let's so <clears throat> let's start off with Brandon since you have the question of like what was one of your favorite high school? Well, I, first off, tell us what was your high school like. It was Huntington. So there was a lot of black kids. Uh, we 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 did what we did. I mean, look, it was a fun school. I mean, it was it was Huntington was Huntington was nice. Uh, it just like <laughs> it just it was just a place where it just I don't know it it was different. Uh, I'm really trying not to talk bad about this school, but I say Huntington had a spirit where it just was not like the other places. Like we, I can honestly say the teachers there uh, did a, had a great handle on the students, but you know it was a it was a little bit ghetto school. But we there was like a sense of spirit at that at that place. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like I go back now. <clears throat> so <laughs> think think about Brandon's high school. 
we were rivals more than one ways or than another. Those who know the rivalry for what reason, that's near here or there. But on the gridiron, I think Huntington, at the time I played against Huntington, that y'all had some of the best athletes uh, in our in our in our district in our parish. Like so, that's what I remember about your high school. We had all black years, but I can tell you one thing Y'all's about band was awesome. Oh I yeah, Bird band was great. Because every time I went to Bird, almost every time I went to Bird, I almost got in the fight. You? So serious? Yes, exactly. Yes. If it What's was a fight? student or a teacher. <laughs> oh, pro- I could believe the teacher. Yeah. yeah. I could believe the teacher. Talk to people. He was about to get a hair <clears throat> across his head. Wow. So, I mean, that was just one of those situations. Brandon, jeez, no wonder. Yeah, no wonder why you went to Huntington. I'm just kidding. Brandon, you said we're 40. <laughs> I about to leave Huntington every single year except, except senior year. So. so, before we move on from that, what school would you go to if you had to go back to high school? Me? I tried to keep going to Captain Shreve because that's where my friends went. I regret I'm not my- going to go to Captain Shreve, so I was going to go to Southwood because that's where family was. Oh. Bird was not an option. Look, I didn't want to. I didn't. School was school for me. I'm Rick Vaughn. Graduation, I'm out. I ain't going back. Yeah. Respected. Yeah. Ugh. High school is high school. <laughs> I love high school. It <laughs> saved me, man. No, I'm just kidding. But no, uh, I, I like that. But no, Christina was right. She said the band, y'all's band was really, really like a miniature version of Grambling. In my y'all opinion. were almost as good as Willow. You see, I was in band. Yeah. You were almost as good as Willow. Uh, I mean, I think if you would talk to the band people there, like my the years I went, like we was kind of getting better like it did it was literally before i got to huntington great band i got there kind of declined a little bit Mm -hmm. and then like it right when we left a little bit it shot back up but yeah i prefer the orchestra than the band so i'm probably gonna get a lot of slack for um being on this episode and saying what i'm about to be saying but i don't care (laughs) what instrument did you play in a band don't tell me it was the flute no nah, man, they they actually funny crazy thing about that was my freshman year I was about to be in the band, but I just didn't have like the determination, the physical strength for it. Plus, I don't like hazing. You will get, you know, you will get pushed back from that. Uh, so I didn't do it. Uh, senior year, they actually approached me because they needed somebody for the drum line. So I played the tenor drum, the little small drum that's on your chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have a quick what, quick question. Um, <clears throat> you said there was hazing in band? Yeah. That, that's a thing? You didn't watch drum See, line? That is a crazy thing. That, you know, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's like but I, I've, I've always thought you know you hear the term band geek and you don't think oh band these band. are the, you know these are like the bro guys that are gonna you know get a kill, kid killed because they made him drink too much alcohol or whatever but you know that's okay that's that's a thing that happens in band too okay yeah depends it, on, it depends on the school yeah and it depends on like what you play in my opinion i, I wasn't in band but being around so many people who were and my sister was in it it it, it was kind of like drumline of <laughs> the movie it was kind of like that to where you know they're gonna drill you really hard and you're gonna have a lot of expectations and it's just, just you got your your big bro of sorts and they're gonna hound you to yeah death. a kid I, I never heard anybody say oh drink 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 but definitely heard the ones they make you do drill over and over again Different oh, little okay. See, that, that, that's a lot different than the hazing I was thinking of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a kid, uh, a kid from Fam, you got killed because of hazing. Then he like they went. Uh, he was in the band. He got killed. Oh really? They, yeah, he was killed. Like he, they kind of went overboard with the hazing. He got killed in the Fam University. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know what that's the the initial stand for, but whatever. But yeah, he got killed from band hazing. That's that's one of that was a big deal about it. I always yeah. thought the worst part would be the wool uniforms and 
Louisiana summer heat. Oh yeah. <laughs> I always thought that would be the worst part. I mean, you would think that was I mean, I guess being a drum line, I mean that that kinda like helped with all that equipment you're wearing you're wearing. Uh if anything, you liked it when it was cold. So Can I ask you a question, Brandon? Like what were those like Michael Jackson looking like boots y'all would have on like little little Michael Jackson little little boots with the little white little you know what I'm talking like about? That. What are those? Like what are those little Michael Jackson little boots they have a man? Well, I, first of all, they they wear regular shoes, like church shoes, whatever. But there's these little cuffs that go over them to make sure you don't see no ankles. You know? Did you ever like pop lock in them or? No, dude, I didn't like I didn't like being in a band. I, <laughs> I, I I barely said anything. They would say, "Brandon, do this." I'm like, I'm just I'm just here to help y'all out. Like, I just kind of was... so snooty. Yeah, I, I was. I can hear you no, right I mean, now. I was. I, I was. I, that was me and Bam. I was like, look, y'all can fight over power all y'all want. I'm just here. Like, that's, <laughs> I'm just here. <laughs> so, Lee, like, so that was Brandon's experience in high school. Like, what was what was high school? Like, what was your memory? What, what was your high school like? I mean, as you can tell, I, I know your high school was like, small right or yeah yeah i'd be willing to bet i have a drastically different experience high school experience than y'all um just just out of curiosity like uh what would y'all say your like graduated class like how many people was in your graduated classes like 500 i don't know like 500 maybe i think my class was a little bigger than calvin's probably so actually yeah. a little smaller so yeah. just it was in the 400 for sure yeah i was like people 500 graduated. Same with you, Brandon. Oh, dude, I have no idea. No idea. Well, uh, no people okay. yeah. <laughs> I only really paid attention. So my, I was like, "Ha ha!" My last name starts with a D. I'm out of here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I I don't even think about that being a factor. Uh, the reason for that is my graduating class was like 26 people. What? Wow. Oh. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> where, where my family's from it's like that like there's like 40 people max graduating you're like start to finish the whole yeah. program it's like 30 minutes either, either that's a very small time or y'all y'all dropout rate is like it's on point no it's it's well I, I, uh you're probably not wrong about the dropout rate but it is also <laughs> a very small town um yeah in fact i want to say the first year i started that school they had they had just uh they were just forced to get rid of their band the year before because of downsizing because the school never had money like i want i went to one of those schools that like all the all the tech textbooks were like at least a decade old um like it was it was kind of a miracle when uh everyone actually got computers in the classroom uh my first typing class was on an actual typewriter I feel like one of those old people that's like, back in my day, we had to uh, use a typewriter for our computer typing classes, and we had to walk 30 miles in the snow in cardboard shoes to get there. Wow. But, but you know, that, that, I, I feel... <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I, I literally used, uh, because, because I, I think I've got about, uh, let's see, uh, I graduated in 02, so I think I've got about a, a about a decade, give or take, on you guys. So I yeah, I was, I was, I was still, thing. yeah, I was still rocking floppy disks for stuff during during my high school. It, uh, even when I started going to college, I was using floppy disks for all my like assignments. It was, it was great. It was a different time. <laughs> but yeah, it was like there were there were not any good extracurriculars in my school unless you were really into four H, and I super was not. Do you, you know like to go farming? You know like to go farm and like the nah, pigs man, and stuff. I, I, like uh, I was born and raised around that kind of stuff, and I'm like, I want to be away from all of that. Actually, so it wasn't it wasn't even until I went to like uh, college that that I was able to find like classes and that stuff that actually taught me like you know video editing and production and stuff like that. Like our high school, that was. We didn't even have like a drama department or anything like that. It was it was like you can either uh, join 4-H or like the football team. That's that's about it. So let me ask you a question. So like 
and, I, and maybe y'all can answer this is four eights is it just like like Napoleon Dynamite where he's on that farm and is that what that is too or no? I think so, yeah. I, I don't know. even know what four H actually stood for. My understanding is like just one of those things. I just remember seeing like four leaf clovers on the freaking Yeah, yeah me I'll too. Yeah, me too. Out of sometimes and I've <laughs> Yeah. When I was in elementary school, 4-H was a big thing because that meant you got out of class for that hour. Yeah, that's why I was like, they'd that just was, be that, like, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> it was always a mystery to me because I never had any know what 4-H was. Like. That's how I got in orchestra. I was like, hey, how, where are they going? I want to I wanna leave class. <laughs> Man, I always left class. I, didn't, I was always out of class. And I feel bad. I, I got to a point where I was that way, too. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna walk out of class. I'm just bored. Our, our school didn't really care if you did that. I just, uh, I, uh, the last two years of my high school, I just hung out in the gifted class because no one really cared. And they're like, "Are you supposed to be in here? No. Okay." So that was like, like no, all right, just be quiet. Just be quiet. <laughs> that was Lee' experience in high school, Christina. I I, I want to hear from you because you graduated. You were like, what, I don't know, a year younger than me, two years. I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Yeah. So I want to hear what was <laughs> what was our high school like in your opinion? Well, I was there only two years at Bird. I spent my first two years at Woodlawn, which was like Huntington, <laughs> but a little more jungle like. You had to be on your p's and q's. Oh, and it was it was rough you had to be careful at woodlawn because it could be just this fast your day could be different <laughs> but uh like it was one of those when you think about how like 90s movies used to make it wasn't as bad as uh lean on me lean on me but it had the <laughs> characters of lean on me <laughs> like ooh. Ooh, if you just wore something wrong that day it was over like your day was ruined you might as well go home Go home because start start over tomorrow. But I enjoyed Woodlawn. Woodlawn was awesome. Um, and then I ended up going to Bird in my junior year, uh, moving and things. Very different world. Um, because I was very quiet for the most part at Woodlawn and every other school before then. And some people knew who I was, but that's just, you know, you get used to seeing a person, but people didn't like just call me by name or anything. And I remember like my first week or so at Bert, somebody called my name out in the hallway and I was just like, who the, f- <laughs> who dares speak to me right now? And it just, it was, it was, it was almost a culture shock going from Willan to Bert because it's not just because, oh, there's white kids here because there's tons of black kids and you'd see the Indian kids, Native Americans, people wearing their hijabs and their wraps and everything. Like, wow, we have Asians in Shreveport? <laughs> like, y'all, where'd y'all come from? Where have y'all been hiding this whole time? Um, it, it was, so it was strange to look around and see different people every, every turn. But, uh, Bird's a really big school. It's big it's school. it's one of those campuses you go up the stairs on one side and you're somewhere totally different when you make it there. And they're like, oh, now you got to go down to the other end and down the stairs just to get back to the floor you just left. You know how many times I was late to a class because I got I went up the wrong one, so you always have to find the middle stairwell to get to that floor. It's it it was like being on a college campus in high school. It's a gigantic school. Like you, you drive by it today and be like, "Oh, it's not that bad." But once you're inside, you're like, "What in the world is this Harry Potter?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would be late yeah. every day. It's like, huge. It's and then you'd have to go to. They had uh, what three buildings? Yeah, three two? buildings. Yeah, it was, it was the main building, science building, and the T's or something in yeah. the back. Yeah. Um, uh, I was still on the quieter side in high school. I wasn't like Calvin, super popular or anything, but within ROTC, a lot of people kind of knew who I was just because I was uh, in the chain of command. Uh, I knew of most people at that school. I could probably walk past most of our class and be like, oh, I remember this person, this person, this person, this person. (laughs) They will not know who I am. But I'll be like, I remember exactly who you are, your name what I knew you from, what you used to wear, what that person used to do. 
it's it's strange that you take so much stuff in, even though you didn't care. <laughs> yeah. That's how it, it was for me. I was never attached to school. I wasn't a great student. I was average if I tried. <laughs> if I tried, I got to be average. Um, meaning like I wasn't in all the advanced or anything classes. I didn't participate in band or any of those things. I was like, I'm here. I just want to graduate. <laughs> I want to graduate and go to ROTC. Those are only two things that mattered to me at that point because I just knew what I wanted to do after. Um, no, so I, I just know your your high school experience is going to be very different from mine. Mine was survival mode without like any of the aggression or anything. Just like, okay, just six more months and you're out of here. Six more months, six more math classes. You get out of here, you know. Um, I definitely remember those thoughts. Yeah, just like you're so close. Uh, See, it's, I, it's. Yeah, that's about it. Very basic for me. <laughs> nah, it's that's. I mean, see, ours is a little different. It's like the reason, like you know, what you said about Bird our High School, it it's very massive, and that's like the the culture shock. You know, coming from the hood and just being around nothing but black people to see so many different cultures. Like I'm kind of like you. I didn't know we had Hispanic people in in Treeport, or I didn't know we had like. Asian, even Brandon, Brandon and I, we, we went to the Asian culture. Remember Brandon, the uh, yeah. culture festival? Like, wait, uh, they do this in Shreveport? Like, you know, those are like one of the hidden gems in Shreveport that you didn't know that existed. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of like to see a big culture shot. But like, honestly, like it's the complete opposite of what you think, Christine. Like, you know, school, high school was my safe haven from my, my home life. It wasn't always great. You know, we were moving around a lot and my parents yeah. were having their issues and stuff. So it was my escapism. Like, so that's why I was so clutched to have it. And <laughs> like, I'll tell y'all a fun story. So when we moved to our first like projects or one of our first projects, uh, it went to a brand new project. I didn't have any friends there. Right. And so <laughs> my mom said, go out and make a friend. So I went to the playground, sit on top of the little jungle gym thing. To the whole playground, I was like, 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 like uh, Titanic. I was like, "Will you be my friend?" To the whole playground. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of how it was in high school. I was always like, you know, anybody that I would talk to, everybody. Like, I always hung around the ESL kids. Like, cause like they were just new to America and they know, and I would try to talk to them. And then there was always a girl at our high school. I don't know if you remember her, Christina, but like she would always sit by herself and read a book by herself at lunch. What's it mean? Don't, don't <laughs> name names. <laughs> don't name names. I, don't I, I couldn't even tell who she said. And oh yeah, she said, was it me? I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, but no, but like, but I, that used to irk me. I'm like, somebody go talk to her and like, you know, be a friend. So that was my mentality at Bird. And so like, you know, I just want to talk to everybody, but that was really my my escapism from Bird. I was just wanting to go and like hang out and enjoy school. Like I was, I was grasping in all this culture and stuff. And some of my teachers were awesome. You know, not all of them, not gonna lie, not all of them were awesome. But you know, some teachers really were awesome. And so I just loved the experience of high school, and it was something brand new, brand new to me. So I just, you know, that's why I was so popular because the one I was never in class. <laughs> and so I would be in other people's classroom all the time. I would sit periods in somebody else's classroom and the teacher never noticed me. And so that was kind of like my experience of high school it was really- you mean they ignored you. <laughs> There's yeah, a difference. They... Damn. It depended on who it was. I was like, because they, you can't just sneak into one of those classrooms. They weren't huge. They just chose like, oh, I'm not going to say anything today. And the they just like, the, no. I want you all out of my classroom. I'm ready the, to go to lunch. There was a teacher. <laughs> there was a teacher. I got it again, Lee. Sorry. There was a teacher uh, <laughs> that was at Bird. I'm not going to say any names. God rest his soul. Uh, that really did not care. Like, seriously. Like, my lunch break was after his class. And I just sat there the whole lunch break. And he did not even care. He's like, I'm just sit there. Chill. What class? I can't tell you because people from Bird actually like watch this show. They're still with the members of the faculty and stuff. I said, well, I said. Yeah, say. 
Yeah. It was Mr. Hitchcock's class, God rest his soul. Um, okay, I never had him. I never had him. Uh, now I that was about the coach's class. Uh, oh yeah, 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 that was different. Yeah, that was different. That was football coach. He also did psychology and something else. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was coach. Oh, he was so cool though, but he did not care. He was like, just be white. <laughs> and Miss Jingles, you have Miss Jingles. No, he he was an art teacher, right? Yeah. No, I I wasn't artful at all. <laughs> yeah, I was in the basement. I was going down there and I'm like. Get out yeah. of my room. I missed the bird. I had missed the bird in middle school and in high school. Mr. Bird will pick you out real quick. No, nah, Mr. Bird was my favorite because I had him in middle school and high school. So I was oh, like, I was like, Mr. Calvin, get out. I'm like, all right. Dang, no. sorry. So Jeff uh, in the comments said, Bird is nothing but a maze. And yes, you will get lost. I said getting lost to get. I kept getting lost to get to art class because it was at the basement floor. LOL, you better rush to get to the bus too after school and especially to the cafeteria. Yo, yep. that was the probably like the only places I was really, and that was even in middle school, rushing to get because if you didn't get to the cafeteria on time, you wasn't going to have hot sauce for the food. So, like, that was like the main thing <laughs> uh, for me, like, chicken day. <laughs> If you didn't get there in time, you wasn't gonna get no hot sauce. So, so like, many people yeah. loved, you know, the cafeterias, and I avoided areas that people congregated in and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I think the whole time I was at Bird, I walked through that cafeteria one time. I could not tell you what a single meal looked like there, anything, the color inside, none of it. And it was right there in the ROTC area. And like, <laughs> it's Christina, <laughs> yeah. do us a favor. Can you tell Brandon and Lee and our audience? The infamous chicken nugget story at our high school. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know his name, but coming from the school I'll play, I'll play football with him. Mind you, I'm new to this school. Uh, and there's a guy who, in, in a hurry to get to the cafeteria, jumped down the last flight of stairs. Over It, it wasn't like he fell forever or anything but he told he decided to jump over the railing of the last set to get ahead of everybody and he like shattered his ankle but kept running (laughs) and he made it to the it was was chicken nugget day at school (laughs) like the normal little chicken nuggets i assume and i was just like is he okay (laughs) y'all that was how epic chicken nugget day was at our high school. We're going to have more of our high school stories through the high school days. This is the season five finale. Make sure you stay tuned on the other side of the break. Hey, Calvin here, host of the Straight Up Show podcast. And guess what? We're back bigger and better than ever with new guests, new straight up topics, and a new way to support the Straight Up Show podcast. That's right. You can now support our podcast by becoming a Patreon patron. Straight Up has four different tiers that you can choose from, with each tier having their own perks. Your monthly donation helps us produce efficient Straight Up content that you love so much. For more details, visit our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Straight Up Show Podcast 318. That's patreon.com forward slash Straight Up Show Podcast 318. I think Straight Up means to be able to speak in a way that is straight up to be honest and to speak your truth. Raw, uncut, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's blunt, you know, straight to the point, this what it is. It's just a place to be open and honest. And that's what I appreciate most about it. And it provides a place for community members to come together and just be straight up with each other about things that are going on in the world because it affects all of us. Uh, unfiltered, raw, with all the cursing that Calvin does. Straight up is just being real, telling it, telling it like it is, you know, um, being you. Being solid, being who you are, no matter what it is, no matter what situation you're faced with, right? This is who you are. It really, it really speaks to me saying it is what it is and it ain't what it is, straight up. All right, welcome back to the Straight Up Show podcast. This is the season five finale. We're talking about everything in high school, going back to our high school days and as you know, Christina was very annoying in high school. She didn't have any friends. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <But>. <laughs> almost, almost true. <laughs> to the point that when people randomly start calling my name, I was confused. I was like, yeah. how do you know me? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> 
but you know, we're talking about a high school experience, some better than some, some better than others. And uh, we're live right now, recording live on our Facebook state, our channel. Uh, and there's some comments right now. Brandon's going to read some of these comments about our, their high school days. Brandon? Yeah, so Stefan in the comments said, my best high school memory, I remember one of my senior science class, we had permission from the school to go to Cyport uh, the rest of the day. Yeah, anytime you get to leave school, ultimate, like, day, yeah. ultimate memory. Field trips are the best. Yeah, and he had another one. Did, did anybody, I don't remember having any science projects, to be honest. Oh, I probably... Probably did. I don't remember any in my school. Projects? Senior projects? I had one in I had a I had a science project in high school, but I didn't do any of the work, so I couldn't tell you anything about it. If I had one, I didn't turn it in. I remember <laughs> one of my projects in economics, we had to like seriously plan a wedding. Like we I was hmm. I was I was connected with a girl. Uh, Destiny. Sam Verity. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, nah. <laughs> but uh, we we had a whole list of like how much a ring costs and like other things. Thinking back on it, that did not prepare me for uh, working on <laughs> um, the last one because that was way over budget. Um, but yeah, that was one of my projects. Senior project. That's a weird one. That's that's Huntington, man. I don't know. I think that's kind of smart to to, yeah, to give kids early, especially I teenagers, because you know there's they're in such a, a rush to get into that relationship, you know. And so many, I, like God, I, the number of people I went to high school with that got married like shortly after high school, because mm. um, somebody probably got knocked up or what have you. But yeah, like teach them that early, man. Like, yeah, weddings are expensive. You should know that before you jump into one. <laughs> Was that song I wish on, I had stuff like that in high school. Was that song on Family Guy? Uh, I forgot the uh, prom baby or something like that. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. that's not. That's too dark. I can't the dance, say that. The, the dancing baby. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's uh, dark. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but no, as always, thank y'all, Stefan. Thank you so much, for, and Jeff. Uh, he went to high school with us. Thank y'all for y'all's comments. Yeah, I remember Jeff in high school. Man, it's crazy. That's you know, man. Y'all, I mean, need, y'all need to come up on the show. Yeah, man. Talk on the show. Like, yeah. Yeah, so if y'all are staying with us right now, because you know, Brandon went to uh, a more uh, urban high school. Lee went to a more of a rural high school. <laughs> and Christine and I went to the same high school together. It's kind of more of a multicultural. So we have a blended thing of high school. I know some people hated high school, hated. But for me, I found comfort in high school. But I want to know from y'all, uh, what was something good about high school that you liked? And tell me something, Lee, that you didn't like about high school. Give me the good and the bad. Uh, so for the good, uh, I've got a an interesting story that like is is semi high school relevant, but also kind of not really. Uh, so uh, I, I mentioned earlier how when especially around my junior and senior year, I kind of like got all, had all my classes out of the way. So didn't have much important things to do. And at, like I said, at the school, the teacher really didn't care what you did outside. Uh, if you like left class, as long as you had finished your work. So I would just go hang out in the, the, one of the gifted kids classroom. And uh, at the time there were maybe two gifted kids in said class. Uh, like I said, small population. Uh, one of which I walked in uh, one day and I saw the dude was playing the game Final Fantasy VI on the PC in the classroom. And if you're not familiar with the game, Final Fantasy VI was a Super Nintendo game. Um, and this was, you know, early 2000s. So I'm like, how? That was my question. <laughs> and this is like my introduction to this person to everything. And he's like, oh, dude, you don't know what emulators are? I'm like, no, what's that? And he's like, uh, there's these these programs you can get for a computer that will basically uh, trick it trick it into thinking it's a Super Nintendo or a Sega Genesis or what have you, and you could download a ROM, which is basically the game, and it'll play that game. And I'm like, what, what? And so he starts showing me websites and stuff, and I'd like go down the rabbit hole, and uh, it's not long before I'm downloading these emulators and ROMs myself, 
and spreading them across the school to every computer I can find. No, uh, in particular, no. in particular, in my typing or class. Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, by, by the way, uh, the legality of this is kind of sketchy at best, so uh, don't try this at home. Uh, but uh, I had a typing class uh, that I actually like would actually go to and do the work in. But I would uh, I loaded those games onto the computer I would use to get my work done on. Uh, I come into the class one day, and the teacher approaches me, and he's like, uh, "Lee, are you the one that installed all those games to this computer?" I'm like, oh, crap, I'm about to get in trouble. And I'm like, yeah, that was me. Uh, his response is, man, I am loving Tetris Attack. What? And, <laughs> <laughs> so nice. I, 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 I got the teacher hooked on the Super Nintendo game Tetris Attack. And uh, later in life, after high school, I would uh, start hanging out with other people in, in my town that I went to school with, but we didn't have classes together or what have you. And they would talk to me, and they're like, oh, man, I remember this one class I went to. Someone had loaded up all these Super Nintendo games, and I, we would just spend the whole class playing Super Nintendo games. I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> and that was, you're welcome. That, 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 was my, that, that was my best memory because it, it, it uh, led me to a long road of piracy that I've never really left. <laughs> I was right. Origin story. Yep. <laughs> 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 wow! No, it's, it's, I, I promise I buy all my video games legitimately. But at the time, when you're a, when you're a broke kid, you're like, this Final Fantasy game I want to play is sixty dollars. I don't have any money. I'm gonna steal it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How about this? Let me ask y'all this question: How many of y'all had video games or, or had games in your calculators, high school? Uh I, I don't. I don't think we had the technology when I was still in high school. On your scientific calculator, I, none of y'all had that on y'all's. I I I think I did because I was like, I need to find a way. Anytime I saw there was a way I can like cheat playing a game in class, I was like, I need this thing. So I think I did have that. Like it was like some like possibly like snake or some other. Yeah, you could play snake and you could play baseball. Like yeah, on yeah. your scientific calculator. Yeah, that was how you could play it. Yeah, Christina looks so unamused. Man, I was just a badass in high school. Wow. <laughs> See, I remember I'm, I'm, I'm a scientific calculator. Did I use it? <laughs> See, I didn't. I didn't get the scientific calculator until college. So in high school, I was just typing boobs over and over again. <laughs> I knew about that one. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I think my calculator had. Oh, I could I, also. I could spell my name upside down by putting three three seven in it. Ah. Uh, Hey, you can't do that with Christina. No, nah. <laughs> but no, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I used to have this scientific scientific calculator. You could put Mario and stuff in it. Yeah, jeez. And then I I thought bags, but mom paid a lot of money for it, and I didn't even use it. I was like, well, I suck. Um, Christine, does anybody want to? I still have a sign, uh, like expensive scientific calculator. If anybody wants it, like, just let me know. <laughs> I, I, no one wants it, Brandon. I will not need it. Why you would I need that. a science? You a might get the Earth's just play snake. You never know. I will never go back to school. Yeah. I will never go back to school. <laughs> I said the I same. I did thing. my time. I I I did my time. I'm not going back. What did Justin Bieber say? I don't know. Never you can't go back. <laughs> hey, that's that's, Wait, that's that racist, Justin man. Bieber? That was Justin. Yeah, that's oh, Justin. Okay. That's first song. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. It was him and it was that's, a karate that's kid. Bird, that's a bird coming at like coming at the right time. That was a karate kid song. Never say never. So Brandon, with that being said, <laughs> what's just tell us a good and bad memory you had in high school. Dude, all of my good memories probably either came from it wasn't like during class. Like I Huntington did have a lot of extracurricular you know you know those fun stuff i mean they they even have a, a photography class now i wish they would have had that you know when i was there but you know i did things like orchestra i was in the drama club um that was fun um uh, but hanging around with my my small small group of friends warren legaric brian uh you know bad you know just goofing off 
uh, the whole Apple Incorporated group. You know, that was just us, just being stupid and doing stuff that people probably didn't like. Question right quick. Did any of y'all get detention in high school? Yes. No. And what was it for, Christina? Uh, Find somebody in the face. <laughs> Should have been, no. Um, <laughs> in high school, I used to get it for sure in middle school, but high school, I got a detention. I can't remember the... Um, the disciplinarian lady, she was the black lady. Uh, she Ms. got Johnson. everybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, no, no. Was it Brown or something? I don't know. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Brown. Yeah, I didn't tell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she watched it's me. Brian, trip up Brian. The, Brian, sorry. Yeah. She watched me trip up the stairs on the way <laughs> into school. Like, because Bert had stairwells on the outside that you had to walk up to get into the building <laughs> from the parking lot. So I had just gotten out of the car getting to school you couldn't wear ripped jeans or anything at first so your oh, jeans yeah, had to be completely uh intact she watched me trip on the step and i busted my knee and i had a little hole that was forming in my jeans like she, she saw me fall and she's like you're gonna have to go back home and change jeans uh because those have a hole in them now i was like you i'm still oh. bleeding i'm still bleeding right now i didn't i didn't do she it on was post just doing her post-post. job Oh, yeah. oh, but I, I ended up that's having always a good excuse wait on the detention room because i didn't go home <laughs> that's, that's not necessarily a detention though like that's not really i think i dropped off here that's the only time i had it in high school middle school i got in a fight and i had to go to detention but high school yeah. i was just on my own business um, i got into a fight in middle school too but i never had to go to detention for it i mean the guy i mean the guy bleed too because i pushed him I pushed him and like his earlobe caught the little hook, the little spikes on the gate and it hooked his earlobe and it cut it. There you go. That's how you do it. I messed with Calvin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, I, the reason why I could not transfer out of Huntington is because of a fight I had in like elementary. So like huh. that was the most wildest thing that a fight I had, I believe in elementary was the reason why for the most part I could not transfer. That's crazy that carried over. That's it crazy. What you, they, um, I don't know if they did it in your, uh, what parish are you from, Lee? I forget. I always forget. What parish? Uh, I'd rather not say. Okay. <laughs> 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 you, you're not going to set him up now. <laughs> for the Duck Dynasty parish that you live in. Um, <laughs> uh, but I, I, in the Duck Dynasty parish that you live in, but in our parish, I don't know if y'all had like we had like a folder that you kept from middle school, from elementary, all the way to high school, and then when you graduate, they gave you that folder. Did y'all have that in y'all's parish? Oh, that's, that doesn't ring any kind of bell. Like what? Like what? What's in the folder? It literally has your kindergarten picture, and it has like all your all your oh. grades. Like are you trying to like your records? And yeah. You do, oh, you nah, all right. Remember, we keep like records. Of this. They keep records. Yeah, they actually keep records. It's crazy, but no, we had that. But Brandon got in trouble in elementary. <laughs> That's funny. Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I, I got that out. I was like, "What are you serious?" You're the only person I've ever heard of that had that thrown back at them. Never. Yeah. I've never had it thrown back at me at all. Oh, I got detention for skipping class. Like and like after my senior in high school football, we uh we actually had coaching. And so like we just sat around the locker room while the, the kids were practicing, right? And so because obviously we had to get ready for the next season. So we just stayed around in the locker room. So we say, you know what? This is a boring class. School is about to end anyway. So we decided to get and uh and keep Thoughts and prayers to my friend Danny. She is in critical condition right now. Uh, she drove the big yellow car at Bird. Remember the yellow car, the yellow bug car, Christina, at Bird. I do not. Know. I know. But she had like a, a different car, and so um, and so she um, we said, hey, we you guys want to go like you know leave whatever. So sure, why not? So me and my friend, we said, all right, we're gonna skip. So all of a sudden, and people left early from school because they they did a what is it called um. Or you go work, Deca. yeah, Deca. You would leave and stuff. So they were used to seeing people leave at a certain hour. So I was trying to pretend, you know, I'm gonna leave too. So I left, and my friend she tries to come pick us up, and we're waiting on her. And we she would call her, and she didn't pick up. And so all of a sudden, there was a disciplinarian at LJ 
uh, God rest his soul. Uh, he had, he rode around with a golf cart around Berg, and he would just try to tag people for skipping. And he found me and gave me detention. Said, "Young man, are you are, are you supposed to be in class right now?" I said, "Nah, man, I'm I'm, I'm off right now." Okay. And then he thought around, he looked at me, and said, "You know what? Well, come back to the office. Let me check to see if you're supposed to be in class." <laughs> and they found me skipping right, and they gave me detention. But all of a sudden, the day I was supposed to start detention, he says, "All right, just sign your name and leave. That's it." So that was my detention. You had a pass for DECA. They had record of it and you had a pass. But I wasn't in DECA. I played football, but the season was over with. So I no, just kinda... but that was like you, the fact that you were like, oh, yeah, 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 I'm good. I was going to be furious if you got away with that one. I did because I, I didn't serve detention. I had a pass for ROTC. So I didn't I mean, serve detention. All I did was just, um, I just signed I my name. In your year because of ROTC. So I was on staff. <laughs> I just walk yeah. as I please. You know how many classes I, how many days I left English senior year because <laughs> it was my last class anyway. I know you had that. I'm like Miss Carberry, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> um, but no, we have Ken. I, I believe this is how you pronounce your name, Kendall. Uh, saying homecoming and prom is her. So Calvin, I already know. You know, I have a feeling you want to talk about your homecoming a prom experience so nobody you know, cares me i was trying to not <laughs> say it like i was not trying to bring it up at all i wasn't gonna bring it up because i didn't want to like gloat, wait. but wait. but since kendall <laughs> thank you kendall for saying that but since kendall opened the door <clears throat> let me get ready for this right quick <clears throat> dear hear ye hear ye no, I'm just kidding. Like, no, <laughs> no. One of my, uh, one of my proud, my, one of my is favorite moments. To, and, isn't someone supposed to do that for you, Calvin? You know, that's yeah. why I stopped because I thought I was thinking it in my head when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, but no, uh, I was prom king uh, in high school. That was one of my. Uh, I guess not really a proud moment, but it was cool because your peers uh, voted for you, and it was, it was, it was cool because. It was a very, very dark time in my life, and nobody at school knew it at all. But uh, it was a dark time in my life, and to be voted for prom king at a school of like what twenty three hundred kids, you know, like that was pretty cool, you know. And it really made put a band aid on stuff that was going on at home and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I was voted prom king, and I was on all those little courts. And like the crazy part about it is, I wasn't a hell of a fine athlete. I was not like a like, you know, funny thing. And this is no shade of my friend. Uh, but the guy that got the got second runner up, the king, whatever, and he got Prince. Uh, as they announced the king, they're like, all right, you know, all right, this person is our prince. So that, that automatically now I was going to get king, right? And uh, <laughs> and then as I'm going up sta- upstairs to get my, on stage to get my, uh, my crown over, the guy looked at me and says, I should have been king. And I was like, well, you didn't. So, <laughs> but he was like the star athlete and stuff. I was like, that's my memory from that night was that the guy said, I should have been king. I'm like, oh, damn. Origin story. I was like, yeah. And that's, <laughs> that's where the arrogance came from, y'all. But yeah, I was, <laughs> Christina, well, I was always <laughs> active in school. And Christina has an embarrassing story about. <laughs> I want to tell it. Tell it. No, tell it. Tell your embarrassing story of me. You tell your own story this time. So you tell tell it. (laughs) Let the people know who you really are. Christina likes to embarrass me. And so one of her fondest memories of me, because I was always doing like little, we had skits and stuff at school. It was like a like a little contest and like concerts called Buzz Fest. And like it's like a talent show, basically. And uh (laughs) looking back at it, it's pretty messed up. But uh, we, we were the Jackson Five. <laughs> I was the only black one. <laughs> yeah, afro wig, everything. I had an afro and wig, and I was dancing, doing my moves, and there was just I, I did it, I killed it, and that was the end of the story, you know. So not mind that. So we can go to well, a commercial break. You, nah, I, I split my pants. Okay, I split my pants. And, and the pants went. Bah. I, 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 my crotch <laughs> split open and everybody saw everything. It and was like a movie moment though. Mid slide, just psh, bah, like, my black oh, pants I, slid open and 
that ripped open and Christina just her fondest memory said, Oh yeah, I saw a cow with pants ripped. I was just like my pants ripping. But okay. and but <laughs> I'll I'll say this and then we'll go to break. Um I'll say this. Um I, that prom king really meant a lot to me because it was when the I didn't have enough money for a suit. And shout out to Mr. Ryan Wheels and Marilyn Proto because they came together and got money to get me a prom suit because they wanted me to go to prom because I wasn't gonna go. I didn't have a date. I wasn't, I, mean, I was going through stuff. And they put together and got me a suit for prom. And I still have it. I can't fit it, but uh I still have it. But that was pretty cool. So that's why I knew that the faculty were pretty cool people. So they were not all jerks and stuff, but but to that, that really makes me think that there's some good in people to give me a prom outfit so they can see me go to prom. So that was pretty cool for me. That's my biggest memory in high school, not splitting my pants, Christina. So I wasn't even bringing it up. You wanted to talk about that. Narcissism. I just, <laughs> but no, that's when I, before we go, Christina, what was something that you, you loved about high school that you didn't like? <laughs> something I didn't like I don't I don't know I didn't have any or at least I've blocked them out if I had any horrible memories from high school um I just kind of made it through most of the time fondest (laughs) memories happiest ones I had a lot of really good ones closer like my senior year was great you knew me yeah huh you knew of me so I didn't know you so you got to know me no, you, but, uh, you got to experience the king. <laughs> Lee, yeah. did you uh, did you have a great long homecoming? <laughs> Me, I did not go. Oh, oh, Lee. oh yeah. yeah. Did you go, Christina? I did. Uh, I went to a few proms, but my prom I was the least excited about. It was it was very boring. <laughs> it was very boring. It was just like. Yeah. It just wasn't a great prom. 2009 was, it sucked. It just wasn't fun. Uh, and I went with a group of people, of course. Uh, homecoming was nice. Homecoming was really fun. I didn't enjoy my homecoming date uh, because it wasn't technically a date. It was just like, okay, we're all going as a group again. And uh, this is okay, okay. I won't say anything in case that comes across. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. it was not it was not a great time uh, I think I ended up trying to do like the person that I did like in high school was also there and I was just like I want to go over there so bad but uh, I didn't uh, I stayed with my date the whole time but uh, it was not a great time my dress was cute I was oh, cute sure. because yeah but uh, as far as senior year goes I don't know I had a good time. It was really nice in RTC figuring some things out for myself. Uh, it was a different experience to go from being a person who was miserable in school all the way up until about junior year to suddenly being like, oh, okay, this is different. Um, I was still to myself for the most part, but to start making friendships and relationships was it was it was fun but weird at the same time. It was sad in a way because I was like, oh, that just meant everybody was mean before. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Y'all are just really mean. But uh, probably the best thing about it, I'm gonna just be really girly and say the boys, the boys of senior year. I had many good moments my senior year. Ah. <sighs> She, she just remembers me in high school, school and just school, yes. she just remembers seeing me and just like I bet, I bet when you saw me he's like I gotta pinch myself I must be dreaming <laughs> more like pinch myself wake me up <laughs> I remember my, my homecoming was alright I mean I had a date but it was more like hey you wanna go and she was like sure and nothing really came from that. But my prom, um, me and my date, which was my like first like uh, girlfriend, she was just uh, my first real girlfriend. Uh, I just remember leave. We left early, and everybody's like, "Where are y'all going? Y'all leaving early? Oh yeah, We're gonna do something." And I was like, "No nah, man, this place whack. Like we about to go eat and like." leave because i don't want to like we got our picture so we can do whack like yeah we we about to go 
because it's lame and we left. So we're okay. Boy, if we had military those ball was always my favorite dance, though. I've always wanted to go to one of those, like the military balls. Boy, if we had uh cell phone cameras that we got right now in high school, like man, we wouldn't even need those prom pictures and like you know, and pay thirty five dollars for them. Like, nah, man, we got our cell phones. We can make our own pictures. But um, yeah, I mean that's how. Jeez, some of these people taking these crappy pictures now. Yeah. I remember for homecoming, like, this would be funny, like, I was trying to be all cute and looking all nice and whatever. I put a perm in my head. <laughs> right for prom. So my hair was all slick and I had, like, the little waves and stuff. It looks horrible. But, it yeah. Homecoming. Worse, and worse and worse, Calvin, every time. Yeah, yeah I wasn't, I'm still not, <laughs> I was still not the best dresser. I don't, I suck at dressing. Like, this is, this is it. This is, this is 30, y'all. This is 30. Hoodies and that's about it. That's is this this is 30. Don't you know you just it's whatever. You don't try to impress anybody anymore. Brandon, this is what you look forward to. 30, okay? <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> 30. You can either go the Calvin way or the Christina way and still have self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> but side note, I'm acknowledging. <laughs> Oh, and in Austin, anyone oh. having embarrassing moments in high school? And Stefan said he was picked on for liking a girl that was out of his league. Don't worry. I mean, about that was, Stefan. I was you have a really pretty girlfriend right now. But you know, what? you know what? To all the people really that's mm-hmm. probably listening to this right now, uh, that Kim Kardashian chick is dating that ugly looking comedian guy that plays she has a lot of so ga- many people. He, I know, uh, but look, that's, he is. By all means, not the most attractive guy looking, but I'm just saying, if he can get Kim Kardashian, I and me, I have dated some very beautiful women as well. Nobody's self esteem should be low after that has happened. That proves that personality can pull a nice looking girl. I'm living fast. It might, it might didn't work on you, Christina, but gosh darn it, I've gotten some pretty looking chicks before. It was never your personality or anything. I just perpetually single. By myself. Yes. <laughs> All right, Brandon, here's your Stephon, chance. I am, I am with you. I, I definitely understand that moment in high school. But no. There's plenty of guys that I'd be like, oh, I wouldn't even try, but you're so pretty. But you're so pretty. Just stay over there. <laughs> that's, and that's why I'm in Dallas and you're in Shreveport. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we are having fun. This is a, if this is your first time listening to our podcast, this is the kind of hijinks that we have in our season finales. And we hope that you stay around because we have a little bit more on the other side of the break. Make sure you stay tuned to the Straight Up Show podcast. Here at Straight Up, we know that all lives matter, but historical events have shown that there is an inverse power dynamic between the races in our country. To highlight this, We present our Black Lives Matter merchandise. Because let's be real, some of you don't seem to understand that this isn't the organization, but a message. That message, end inequality towards minorities in America. And just in case that's too complicated for you in English, we have the phrase translated into 10 different languages. Visit StraightUpShowPodcast.com for this and all our other merch. That's S-T-R, the number 8, showpodcast.com. Shirts as low as $19.99. If you're a fan of our show, you know we take pride in being from Louisiana. From our show's colors to our conversations about food, we love our home state. And since it's Mardi Gras season, the Straight Up Show podcast now has exclusive Louisiana Pride merchandise at our online store. Just visit our website, straightupshowpodcast.com. That's S-T-R, the number eight, showpodcast.com. Shirts start as low as $19.99. And remember, laissez le bon temps rouler. I'm Sutan Zalauddin from Southside 62 out right now. 
Make sure you tune in to the Straight Up Show podcast because that's where it's happening. You dig? All right, welcome back to the Straight Up Show podcast. I'm your host, Calvin. Join by my lovely host, Christina, Brandon, and Lee. Uh, we were talking about our high school days. And as you can tell, me and Christina had some beef in high school. No, I'm just kidding. But no, uh, it's been a great season, uh, season five wrap up. This is our finale. Uh, but man, you were listening to our high school stories. Of course, we're joined by our audience, our Facebook audience, answering in some things on Facebook Live right now. Brandon, do we have any updates on Facebook right now? Any no, more new comments? Not, not yet. No okay. new comments. Okay. All right. But yeah, someone asked some questions. Stefan told us about uh, some girls in high school got made fun of, not liking it. Uh, Kendall love Kendall love prom and homecoming. Uh, and, and and Jeff, just remember how big high school was at our high school, I mean, Christina High School uh, in Burn. And so, and we talk about how we learned so much in high school. And my thing is, I, I want to know, I know Brandon's answer already. But if you had the opportunity to go back, would you go back, Brandon? Don't what? cuss. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like, I, I already know. I, I, I would not go back by, no. no you wouldn't go back at all? No. I, w- I wouldn't go back. I actually don't go visit that school, actually. I do. I like to go visit my old high school because they, I feel like they I mean, add on to it every time. To, uh, to make their media stuff and pictures, videos look better. Mm. Can y'all recall, I start with Lee, can you recall y'all seeing your prank at all that they played or no? You know, I don't I don't know if we even did a senior prank. Uh, I remember that year talking to my mom about it because her senior class had done one. But ours, our, our little pool of 26 people, I guess, couldn't come together and put something together. Brandon, do you remember y'all, y'all have one in Huntington? No, I seen your prank. Oh, you already know they did craziness at that place. Uh, but I just don't remember. Um, to be honest, I really don't. Jeez, y'all have some I'm, I'm with Stefan. Stefan said the past should stay in the past, and quite frankly, a lot of my classmates I don't even remember exist. Dang, Christine, do you remember any of your uh, senior pranks at all? I do not. I was a, I was a good kid. If there was a prank, I probably don't even remember it. Wait, did y'all? We might have mentioned this before. Did y'all do something with the grass? Did y'all kill all the grass that time? No, we didn't do that. No. Okay, then I don't remember what else it could have been. Yeah, and and if you're listening, this episode has been very watered down because we pre we pre talked about this episode, and the three of them collectively have told me, Calvin, do not say this on air, or you mm-hmm. will get in trouble. So Here we go. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. I promise you. Jeez. Oh, I'm not going to say it at all. But no, this is a very watered down episode. That's why I didn't want to bring up me being a prom king because people were like, mm, anyway. But no, our prom, our senior prank was like we got everybody to park in a student parking spot so other classes couldn't park. That's what we did. Like we filled the whole parking lot up, which really wasn't nothing. But some people, not me, allegedly, because uh, we gotta say it nowadays, allegedly, some people allegedly uh, stack up the uh, little purple tables in the uh, lunch area on top of each other. That's what we did, and we put bird seeds in the parking lot. So you know that was <laughs> apparent. Apparently. <laughs> Someone, and this is from the comment section, mm-hmm. someone from a rival school carved a uh, an eggplant eggplant um, mm-hmm. emoji on our football field. Someone from a rival school I can see that being a popular thing these days. And I, uh, I may or may not have actually seen that in person. I don't know. I can't see the comments, but uh, your redemption is going to be hard. <laughs> Let me just say, seeing it, uh, seeing it in person, was funny. That was very funny. I'm not gonna lie. Seeing that in person was very funny. And high school, why really? Okay, so for those who don't know, Christina and I, we went to a a big high school, and our rival school was. The school across town. That's a big rivalry. And so every year, 
football season, we would have this rivalry game, which our school was always so dominant. Always. We still are. Uh, but there was one year. Say what? Yeah, but we lost a lot, though. <laughs> Not us. We were 9-3 and three my senior year. What are you talking about? We lost a lot. Not to them. Okay. Maybe maybe y'all's class did, but ours didn't. I went to like two games. I can't say anything. Oh, that's. Mm-hmm. I think why my school is so cool is because we have a school spirit, and that's why. Because if you go to our football games, our student sections was like college. It was deep, you know. Christina was just wasn't school spirited. I, I had to be there for color guard, like, and I bounced after. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, I played and forget I, those games. My lip ring closed my lip piercing closed because of a color guard event at, at the bird tree game my senior year i was po'd <laughs> but um but no like our, our rival and so so our, our mascot was the yellow jack like, like bees or yellow jackets and our mm-hmm. rival's mascot was an alligator and so for one of these games they put a live alligator on the front of our school tied up i don't think you were there yet christine when it happened Probably not. And so, if you're from Louisiana, we say we want some gator gumbo tonight. That was Let's the, have gator gumbo tonight. Do y'all remember any of y'all's school chants at all? No. Lee, do y'all have school chants? Dude, I don't even want to say, say the I name of my school's mascot. <laughs> and I, I should have paused with that, but I asked you, do I have any chants? I don't think those are the chants I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what the mascot was now. <laughs> I was like, oh, what? Uh, it's, a, it's the same one Washington may or may not still have. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin Ooh. 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 Well, I think it's still a dog, but okay. Ooh. And yeah. Next, Brandon, you, you were in next. <laughs> Man, Lee, we have to get you out of that. <laughs> we have to get you out of that. <laughs> So, uh, Brandon, do you remember this, this, any school logos or any kind of school like uh, chants at all? I I did not. Don't care. I, so I don't care. It. I didn't, I didn't care. Uh, I, care. I, mean, we, I feel like high we school Brandon raided. needed a hug <laughs> <laughs> and a friend to hold his I, hand. I would have accepted any hug, any opportunity. I love, <laughs> I love hugs. Here like, <laughs> you go, bro. Poor baby. There you go. Just like, yeah, I ain't going back. Let's do y'all do y'all think that Christina ever had let's let's see if Christina has school spirit. You ready? Christina, what's that jacket's battle cry? B I C T O R Y. <gasps> oh she got school spirit. I only know that. I only know that because pepperellas were mandatory. Yeah, let me tell you a bear story about my pepper- were mandatory. They made you go. They made you do the the school alma mater song, oh, yeah. or whatever. And, and then, I, I I phoned it in every time. I still don't know that song except the very end, the purple and the gold. Like I had we, the laziest sidekicks. It was just like you had no like school a spirit. Move my feet. I was just like, oh. do you do you remember I don't me? Know these people. Do you remember me at the pep rallies at all? Do you remember me? Yes, I remember y'all busting through uh, the banner. There's one game in particular. It was one. I'm trying to remember the song. The it final was like countdown? A, huh? The final countdown? No, no, no. I remember all those. Those were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> those were terrible. <laughs> it was, mm. uh, it was. Was it that Rihanna song, Live Your Life or something? Oh, Lord. No, it, was one of those, it was some like Rihanna and whatever, somebody, whoever mm. y'all came through. And I was like, impressive. That was a good, that was a good bus through. But uh, I was, I was always the one that came through. Like, so funny, fact, funny, funny, funny <laughs> fat, not fact, funny fat. Uh, so I was always a big kid my whole life. Uh, so the whole, like during practice, uh, we would wear like these like, white pants, but I couldn't wear those small ass white pants. So I would have to wear game pants to practice. And so all my jerseys never fit me. And so like they 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 had these small jerseys and they were just circle, they would cut off circulation in your arm. So we would come to the pepper lights, right? And I had my jersey on and I couldn't lift, I couldn't do this, you know? So I would go to the pepper rally, I'd be like, 
Yay, lift your, get it up, guys. Just T Rexing it. <laughs> no, Penguin like just, hey, guys. Because <laughs> that jersey was eating me <laughs> a lot. <laughs> like, like, and you would see me at football games with a halter top, just over here, just like, hey, y'all. Uh, <laughs> just like, just like, <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. But no, yeah, that was my high school jersey experience. I the goal is to get in that jersey one day. Probably can't. But anyway, um, do y'all have any high school memorabilia still or no? Anybody? Ooh. Any high school memorabilia besides the yearbook, Christina? I I had um hoodies, because I love hoodies. I love sweaters and hoodies. Mm. But over time they get stolen by my, one of my sisters or something. Mm. I still have my senior class ring though. Uh, I did not want to get one. My dad forced me to get this senior class ring. And I remember the yellow jacket that they had offered through the school was like a bumblebee. Mm. So I was like, I refuse. And I ordered off something else and I got a hornet instead as my yellow jacket. <laughs> so he looked super aggressive. I wonder if I can, <laughs> I like still have it. I cannot fit the thing. No, why? Why she look for that? I didn't want that freaking ring. Uh, if in fact there was a necklace, and I was like, I'll just get the freaking necklace, and I couldn't afford uh, it. Like, and that was another thing. It was, it was too, it was too much. You know, I really didn't care about the school anyway, so I, I just, I, I wasn't gonna wear it. Do you have like a poster at all, or poster? Anything at all? What at the school? Like, you kind of posters at all, or? I mean, we have a poster like of my class, but. Trying to see if my class ring shows. Okay, I see it. Oh, hold on, wait. No, I can't make it. I don't know how people focus these things at all. Can you put it? Okay, hold on. I would have won a dragon on that. Hmm? A dragon? It said Chris. You still can fit it? Who's Chris? I'm I'm Chris. Uh, Why not Christina? You can afford our letters? I was gonna do something, but I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was trying to find if I could show my the the hornet. The hornet. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. It. I see it. The, the, the booty he's hanging not, out. He's not focusing. Yeah. With the booty hey, hanging out. Yeah, I see it. How do I can young see it. people make these things work? I don't know. Brandon, that's thirty for you. Look at look at it. It's thirty. Get ready for it. <laughs> these young people. Lee, do you have any old school I stuff? I have a ring in my birthstone. Okay. Do you have any uh, memorabilia at all, Lee? At all? Um, I'm still. Uh, Christina actually reminded me. I still got my senior ring somewhere. I don't know where off the top of my head. Um, my, so, my, on the too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Damn, I was just a, I was just a broke one in the group, huh? Dang. Look, the, my, I, mean, I didn't get a ring. I mean, man. I I have a couple. I think I think I I, I did get a senior hoodie, but that was like you know uh, one of those things. Um, I have a big old jacket for some reason. I was I got in some type of program that I don't even know what it was about. I don't even think it ended up happening. But I got mm. a big old jacket. So whenever like it's hurricane season, whatever I wear it because I always stay dry with it. But yeah, just like now, you won't see me wearing much with that name, <laughs> and it's not because I'm I'm just, I, I I don't like to tell people I'm from I went to Huntington. I just don't like to. I just don't bring it up. I, well, I stay. School spirit. <laughs> I got school spirit. Yes, I do. I got school spirit. Lee, how about you? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I expected a spelling. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, I, I hated pet rallies growing up. It was, it was no fun. I, I I did not get into it. I did I did not drink the school Kool Aid. Calvin had all the Kool Aid apparently. I, I did. I, I, there's so many ways I can go with that. Yeah, I'm just anyway. Uh, the we're, we're wrapping yeah, I up. I kind of regret saying it after I say after I say it. <laughs> Man, we're not coming back for season six. Uh, <laughs> so before we get before we leave y'all today, we want to thank y'all uh, so much for tuning in, especially those on Facebook Live uh, right now. Brandon, just check one more time. Do we have any more people commenting? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, Stefan, uh, 
I definitely appreciate him hanging on with us in the chat. Oh, and also the people, other people that showed up, Jeff, um, Kim, uh, her comment, and the first person to start it all off. Um, I can't, I can't. Ron Tom, he got me my job at uh, the news station. So thank you, Ron. Yeah. Um, got me my internship. Sorry, my internship from Dipsy. Sorry. Yeah, I remember, remember that. that. Yeah. I- yeah. She was, he wasn't there. Uh, but yeah, I remember that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stefan was talking about how he have a couple of, he have a hoodie. He still have his ring. Um, no, actually he gave it to Goodwill, which good on you. I, I know that is one of the things I, I don't, I, I don't like Goodwill, but you know, I do donate a lot of clothes and stuff every year to uh, Providence House. So yeah, that's why I should do that. Yeah. Side note, everybody send your things to direct donation places. Now, see, that sounds like a lot of work. Where is that a link or something you got to mm-hmm. No, no, no. I'm that just saying like places like Providence them. House and whatnot. Send them, yeah, just, just give them Google to places local where they don't have to actually pay for them or as much. Um, try to just do a little research and instead of just taking a direct look at Google. Research, see, there you go. You're trying to send me back to school. Another since since we <laughs> since we're talking about school as well, um, I've been watching this show on Hulu called um, Abbott Elementary. Elementary. Yeah, yeah, great. Love great that show. show. Great cast. So. Not an endorsement, uh, not a sponsor or anything, but just saying, since we're talking about school, that is a great show to watch. Great cast. Got to watch it. Um, yeah. It's... Looks good. I haven't watched it, so. So. Got I... a point of Brunson in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Um, yeah. So before we go, uh, wrapping this up, uh, I just want to say, once again, thank you to all those people, Jeff, Kendall, uh, Ron Toma, um, uh, whoever else I'm, I'm be maybe missing. Uh Kendall, Jeff, thanks to my people too. Whoever's watching, thank you. And uh just want to say thank y'all to my amazing crew. You know, Lee, Brandon, uh, Christina. Yeah, Brandon and Lee. Thank y'all. Um, uh, but no, y'all have done a great job this season. Thank you so much. Uh it's been great telling our high school stories. And I think that it made us who we are, in my opinion. Uh it made me who I am. Uh, but if you can go back and tell yourself in high school right now. If you were to go back and talk to high school right now, what would you tell yourself, Brandon, in high school that you would just tell him right now? What would you tell him if you go back and tell yourself high school? What would you say? Talk to and ask out the girls you want to ask out because it wouldn't matter anyway. <laughs> you don't know. Good advice, though. Be no, brave. No, like, like, I, I've been friends out some friend, friends out, friend zone so many times. That's the reason why high school is the reason why I say what I want to say now. Like, when I got out of high school and started in college, I was like, nope, saying whatever I want. Uh, no, whatever consequences comes from, I'll accept it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lee, what would you... Consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, what advice would you give yourself in high school uh, today? Uh, invest in Apple. <laughs> <laughs> that's the advice of the decade of the century the yes. best in the apple best in apple yeah that's yes. <laughs> brilliant you're so i'm sorry you're going to places kid <laughs> all right um no but I, 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 honestly though my, my high school experience wasn't like spectacular i was i was a, a little queer bundle of anxiety that was now yet um so i'd probably just tell myself just man just ride through it. It gets better. Hashtag, it gets better. I know you don't know what a hashtag is, but you will. It'll be very important. Uh, just, just hang in there, dude. Uh, you'll find your people. It will not be at the school, but you will find your people. What do you mean, you people? I mean, you people. <laughs> I just I When you I'll leave the school, you will find more black people. You will find your your people. I like, but, like that. I like that. I mean, I would tell myself, I would tell myself just like, really don't, and this is, this is kind of like, uh, I guess, uh, hypocritical, but I would tell myself, don't invest in your friends. Like do invest in yourself more than you did in your friends. I think I did that way too much. I invested more into my friends and stuff than I did my own self, because when it came down to it, all I had is myself, you know what I mean? Not in a negative way, but like, 
you know, really take stuff serious. We'll take education. I definitely will take sports serious in high school. So that's my advice. But, and Brandon, you had the last word. What would you tell yourself? Or Christina, I'm sorry. Christina, what would you tell yourself? <laughs> Ask out that nerdy guy. Huh? That speaks to you. <laughs> you should be like, I should ask Calvin out. He was prom king. I was starting to think <laughs> Calvin was stalking me. Like, it was sort of, that's what I'm thinking. I think Calvin had a thing for me in school, and I just didn't know he existed for a while. Or he was just that, that guy. No. We weren't. We were never going to work, Calvin. <laughs> I was like, uh, well, um, I probably told myself, try a little harder. <laughs> take the extra math class senior year. Take the, take the math. Um, and I probably just told myself along the way, uh, it's not you. <laughs> it's not you. Like, it's fine. Better people will come. You know, it's it's not you at all. There's you these just aren't your style, you know. Your people. As yeah. Lee, as Lee would say. Yeah, it's your not people. my people. They weren't my people. There's always somebody who's going to suit you. So just just wait it out. You'll find people that you realize one day you're like, oh wow, I enjoy these people. And or just like at Bipsy, oh wow, I'm gonna go on a random road trip with these three dudes. <laughs> to go see a comedy show <laughs> right before class like leave right after class you make it sound so bad now like you know like now if, 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 if you say it out loud it's like yeah it was so bad and then and we all three slept in the hotel room with three guys it'll be fine <laughs> let's tell nobody that you're doing it either okay <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> that part I did not know. Well, I didn't know I either. Know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Our love for our love for Dave Chappelle really just tramped all that. So that's it's cool. <laughs> Don't no. it. Yeah, it gets it gets it, it becomes more fun. Keep waiting. <laughs> well, at least you know you slept alone. Oh, and and touch the abs. Touch the abs. That was a. Mistaken moment. I let it go. Touch that. Do some dabs. No, I said touch the abs. That was oh, a story for me. Oh, uh, touch the abs. You don't. You should have. Okay. <laughs> well, if you give me about nine months, Christina, you know I can. Uh... No, this was in senior year. It was literally okay. like the last day of school. Oh, uh, he probably you know, they don't even have those abs. Oh, I bet he does. I bet he does. Let me go out my yearbook to see who it might be. You probably know. I probably do. I got it right. It was not a John. It wasn't a John. Okay. All right. It wasn't an RTC, but you probably saw who it is. I have a strong feeling who it might be, too. I, I will talk. Strong feeling you're wrong, but okay. <laughs> I got a strong feeling who it might be. And mm, I got like, anyway. Y'all, it has been a great time hanging out with y'all today. Uh, this has been a great season. We had some phenomenal guests. Uh, we started off uh, the show, the season with Miss Byers passing away. Uh, always our condolences to her, Miss Byers. We love you so much. Uh, if you don't know who she is, go back and listen. Without the, without her, there will be no show. There will be no straight up. So uh, this show, is this season was dedicated to her. So we want to say we love you so much. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, with that being said, uh, and to our all our other phenomenal guests, man, we had some great times. Lee, Brandon, Christina, man, I, I can not only say that uh, y'all do such a great work when you come on the show. Uh, I know we don't really talk about it a lot, but man, everywhere I go, people talk about how y'all really bring each something to the table to the show, and people really admire y'all. So that makes me feel like I chose to be good people uh, to hang out with. Well, thank you. <laughs> anyway. And that's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. You're... Yeah, so uh, any expectations for season six, anybody? Brandon, any expectations? Well, me and Christina talked about a thing that we might work on for, if she's still into it, for the next season. Um, okay. Definitely... <laughs> looking forward 
because this is 2022, so there's a lot to talk about um, starting in the beginning of the year. So, yeah, I just hope everybody's prepared for it. While we're away, go listen to the other episodes if you haven't heard it. You know, just try to catch up. This is the time to catch up. And please just send us, you know, send us your love through, you know, the email, which this is where Lee steps in. Uh, no, that's actually our hate mail. Please don't send us hate mail because you're actually. <laughs> uh, I, I got, I got you, Lee. I got you, Lee. I got, I got you, Brandon. I got you. And and we and we know that people who are listening who are on Facebook might not like our show because we say some off the wall stuff, maybe long winded. But we have an email for people who do not who don't like our show. Uh, Lee, if you don't mind, can you please just grace us with that email address, please? Uh, yeah. If you'd like to know what parish I grew up in, email us at. I don't care at gmail.com. It's That's I don't care we'll at gmail.com. Of course, we're just kidding. Lee, uh, man, you're doing a great job producing. And Brandon, man, great job. Uh, until then, make sure, as Brandon was saying, you can support our podcast. Uh, we have a Patreon page. Go to our Patreon page at patreon.com uh, forward slash straight up show podcast 318. That's straight up show, show pay. Thank patreon.com forward slash str number eight up pie show podcast.com 318 I, I screwed it up again but anyway you get the concept uh we have we have three four different peers see look i'm tired already we have four different tiers three five uh 10 20 and you support us uh all your contributions and donations go to supporting the podcast uh, make sure it gets better every every season. Uh, if you want to get merchandise, we have brand new merchandise out right now. Exclusive merchandise for the season. Uh, y'all love the new season five t-shirts. Thank y'all for ordering them. Uh, you can go go to our website at Show uh, dot com. That's S T R number eight U P Show Podcast dot com. See, I can't talk to y'all. What is going on? <laughs> like, what is going on today? We're about to hit. I don't save it for the end. <laughs> That's crazy. But no, uh, until then, there's only one rule to our show. You got to be straight up. Straight up. You better do it, Christina. You know what? Christina has up. said it so many in the last, last like, episode. Yeah. The, the final episode, she doesn't want to say it. Of course not. Anyway, that's it, y'all. We're, we're, we're going away. Christina, she might not be in back next season. But see y'all in season six. Take care. We love y'all. <laughs>